we go. Hello everyone, welcome back to Axel Racing. You find us here on Forza Motorsport as always. Um, it's becoming a theme now, isn't it? Um, but no, most importantly, um, we're back into some fast cars again. Now, there is one addition to the Ford collection that I thought was very interesting. Um, now, obviously, the Ford GT Mark II, the Le Mans winner, the very famous car, had that in the game forever. But why all of a sudden have they decided to add in the much more unsuccessful Mark 1? Makes you think, doesn't it? Um, yeah, something really interesting about adding in the Mark 1. And I'm not sure why it intrigues me so much. I think it's because, obviously, the Le Mans 66 movie, um, you kind of realise how much of a piece of it was. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going to jump into that, and I feel like we need to get it round a very famous oval-ish circuit like the uh, like they would have raced on originally um, so Eagle Rock what's this that's a just a big oval too much oval Homestead might be a good one no nope. Indianapolis it's got to be Indianapolis but they've only got two versions of the circuit the oval or the infield circuit which does include quite a bit of the oval um, I'm not sure what other oval circuits we have on the game. Uh, no, I think a famous American car deserves a famous American track. So Indianapolis Grand Prix circuit is a couple laps of that in the full GT Mark 1. Now this is going to be very interesting. Very interesting. Obviously our first time at uh, Indianapolis in this new game. We're doing it at sunset, so the lights are going to be on. This is going to look very cool. The Indy Grand Prix circuit is almost entirely flat, so always keep your eyes focused far down the track because passing opportunities will happen in some unexpected That's it. places. So, I don't really know what to say. I don't really know what to expect. So I, we all know what the full GT is like. Very powerful, very lightweight car. This is very much the same, but as far as I'm aware, has a smaller block V8, or even if it's the earlier, earlier one, it has a V6 in it. Um, so it's not as powerful. Oh, really bogged down in first gear there. It feels like it's lacking a fair amount of power. Obviously, it's a lot faster than that um, for Puma that we were just driving, but there's something that feels a little bit lackluster about the power. We've got good handling, good handling out of the box, which is nice. Being very careful with this, keeping our eyes on the road. Uh, oh, it's this layout. I almost went right there, not there. Oh, the noise! What a racket! <laughs> Okay, give me more of that. That's all I want is the racket. Um, I can't remember if this is four or five speed gearbox, but it seems to have, like the Ferrari uh, 512 that we drove a few videos ago, it seems to have very long gears, which obviously indicates a very high top speed. Wow, what a racket! We can't get on the power yet. We've still got another complex to do yet as we graze the wall on the inside there on the outside there sorry do I need first through here I feel like I need first but you don't change down to first in a racing car unless you've stopped what a racket <laughs> give me more it's not fast, but wow, what a noise. Yeah, no, it, it, I'll be perfectly honest, it handles quite well straight out of the box. Um, I think I was right in my uh, recollection of it being a little bit lacklustre on power. I'm going to stay over to the right here because we're going to flick it back through the left and the right. Grazing the curve. And getting on down the straight. 
and listening to that noise. What a noise of a car. We haven't even made it out of third gear yet in this car, which is a little bit surprising. <laughs> um, but no, it does actually handle quite well. You've got to wrestle with it just a little bit. It's not as agile as the, uh, the 488 GT car, but once again, we're talking almost 50 years of difference between the two cars. Um, so you can't really compare the two. I'm just saying, be careful because it's not as agile as you would expect but it does handle well I'm going to take first I'm going to take first because I haven't got enough revs through the corner here balancing the throttle very nicely out of the last corner third gear what a noise oh no I've crossed the line I want to do more <laughs> I want to see more of what that car can do. That drives really well straight out of the box. I like that. Not bad. Not a bad car. Um, still don't understand why the Mark 1 in the game, but I'm sure it's got some awesome upgrading options there. Um, and it'll be good to see the Mark 1 and the Mark 2 on track. Maybe do a side by side comparison. Maybe that be a video uh, somewhere down the line. But yeah. Not bad. Another car. Another awesome new car to Forza Motorsport. Um, I hope you're enjoying it, and I will see you all in the next videos. Till then, drive safe. Bye bye. <laughs>